Welcome, we'll start with the next series and that's the expected questions on environment. We'll be covering this in four sections as we go. So the first section is here today and here we would be first talking about some of the important developments and the mo most important development here of recent is the NASA's mission for ISTAT. Two very very important this would talk about the loss or the depth of the ice cover that has been melting over the years so I said works with the atlas and atlas is the advanced topographic laser altimeter system so it would have the light photons that would travel from the earth uh, and back from the spacecraft and based on that you would have the analysis of the actual melting of the ice that is taking place because of the global warming a very important project i said too so just keep this in mind the next is we have the initiative which is satat now satat is a very important initiative this is the sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation the idea is you would be using compressed biogas as an alternative for your petroleum and oil products so this would basically boost the agricultural residue the uh, the cattle dung and the municipal waste that is coming up and it can even generate additional income for the farmers under the goal of 2022 doubling the farmers income the next is we are talking about forest management and forest fire management so far we have various MOUs which have been signed with the various countries but the idea is we have five themes on which we are working for forest fires and the idea is bringing about a development and awareness among the people so that we would have additional forest cover by 2030 and this would be created through creating additional carbon sink of 2.5 to 3 billion tons uh, of carbon dioxide through our intentionally determined goals so that's again very very important second generation ethanol biorefinery has been set up in Bargada, Bargad and that lies in Odisha now this ethanol would be created from rice straw uh, and this is one of the main sources for ethanol generation we have covered a separate lecture on national biofuel policy where we have talked about the first generation second generation and the third generation biofuels so that's again very very important don't miss that the next is we are working towards air quality so air pollution in light of the Delhi air pollution we have created a separate class on Delhi air pollution the Lancet Commission report so just go through that very very important this is very important so what are the important things that you need to know first is air quality index so the ranking of the index the color coding that we have discussed in our uh, class on 20 questions then we have the permissible limits so sulfur dioxide permissible limits is 80 micrograms per meter cube similarly we have for nitrogen dioxide particulate matter 2.5 and carbon monoxide all these limits are really really very very important so you need to know each and every permissible limit and this is something that you would have to memorize Similarly, we would have the GRAP, that's the Graded Response Action Plan, that's really important. So, Delhi government has brought about this in the second term and uh, 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 on the world rating, if we see, Delhi is considered as the most polluted city with the cities having a population of more than 14 million. The second city in line was Greater Cairo from Egypt. The third was uh, Dhaka in Bangladesh, fourth is Mumbai and fifth is Beijing. So within the top five, we have two cities from India and that's really a high time we should work around the air quality. So this is a very, very important topic for your upcoming examination. Don't just miss that. We have five new stadiums which have come up as plastic free zones. So remember the name of all these five stadiums. Again, very, very important. The next is we are talking about curbing the plastic pollution so world environment day was celebrated with the theme of beat plastic pollution and this beat plastic pollution talks about wiping off single use plastic by 2022 for the same, Prime Minister was recently awarded the UN Environment uh, Champion of the Earth Award. So that's again one of the very important things that you need to cover on. Now how this has been done? In Kerala, you have the Swichita Mission and the Harita Kerala Mission through which you are avoiding any kind of plastic utensils within the government offices. So all tea, coffee would be circulated in uh, tea contain uh, steel containers. Sorry. Similarly, pens would of plastic have been abandoned. Now you have only steel pens that would be used in Madurai you are using this plastic in road surfacing similarly uh, the water bodies have uh, this 
plastic that is coming in so kerala is extracting that plastic from those areas sikkim has become the first state to ban any kind of disposable plastic or single use plastic bottles so those are some of the developments that are seen on the individual state level we have so far 10 biosphere reserve a new biosphere reserve has been added and that is the kanchenjunga biosphere reserve again very very important now this biosphere reserve is named after mountain kanchenjunga the third highest mountain peak of the world the core area is again considered as a world heritage site now this world heritage site has been declared in 2016 under the mixed category and this is the first from india to have a uh, designation under the world heritage site The next is the state energy efficiency preparedness index. Now this is released by whom? This could be a question. So you have Bureau of Energy Efficiency and Alliance for Energy Efficient uh, um, Economy, that is A Triple E. So both of those together are working around the programs related to energy efficiency. We have the various index that have come up, and on the index we have the states as forerunners, achievers, contenders, and aspirants. So the states which are forerunners are really important. So just take a note of these states. So this could be a question: which of the following states are forerunners? in the state energy efficiency uh, preparedness index what is pat scheme so it's perform achieve and trade now this is an idea to improve the energy efficiency of large energy consuming industries uh, this is the idea to make the industry much more self reliant much more energy efficient and you have two energy exchanges which are uh, basically uh, tradable uh, the certificates are tradable at these two exchange energy uh, energy exchanges sorry so those are the indian energy exchange and the power exchange india now a very important development you have han that is hydroxyl ammonium nitrate which is used as a green propellant through isro this is a mono propellant and basically does not require any kind of separate oxidizer to burn it now you would be using han or the hydroxyl ammonium nitrate as a environmental friendly propellant and isro has done a breakthrough development for this parivesh very very important so what is parivesh we have already covered this in our class on uh, the 20 questions on environment and geography so parivesh is a single window hub for all kind of clearances for environment for forest for wildlife for coastal regulation zones so this has been done on the Uh, honor of world biofuel day which is celebrated of on 10th of august again a very important development so it's a kind of interactive virtuous and environmental single hub program which is seen you have the first interstate transmission system that has been auctioned and commissioned in bhuj gujarat so energy generated from this would be purchased by the states of north so bihar odisha jharkhand and up are some of the states which would be purchasing the energy generated by the wind power commissioned here so bhuj becomes important we have the first biofuel powered flight that has taken place between dehradun and delhi and this has jetropa seeds oil from jetropa seed being mixed with the aviation turbine fuel so two engines one totally with the aviation turbine fuel the other 75% aviation turbine fuel and 25% the blend of oil from jetropa seeds so jetropa seeds become again very very important in light of the development we have new technology to check about the contamination of the materials through visual detection and this is done mainly for three elements those are fluoride chromium uh, chromium 6 uh, and iron so this is again very very important this technique has been developed through the national center for compositional characteristics of materials and this is a portable kit which basically detects within 5 minutes the contamination level we have ganga vrakshaaropan uh, abhiyan that has been promoted in the states where you have the ganga river flowing through uh, state departments divisional offices and forest departments are part of it this campaign was initially part of the forest programs but later on became the component of the namami ganga project we also have this program in up running with the ganga haritama abhiyan so those are some of the major developments here 
a new policy has come up for waste disposal so you have the waste disposal rules the solid waste the e-waste the biomedical waste uh, that have been separated so ministry of housing and urban affairs is doing a great job in controlling that similarly for air pollution we have the bharat stage 4 emission norms for new cars bharat stage 3 for two wheelers which are coming up in the metropolitan so again this becomes important so pollution control a very important initiative that has up and is very very important Important. In light of the same pollution control, we have the CK Mishra committee. We have already talked about the various committees in education. Coming on to the committees in environment, CK Mishra committee is important because this committee is looking after the pollution that is affecting the Taj Mahal. So yellowing of the Taj Mahal being affected by the Mathura oil refinery, the tourists that are coming in, the auto rickshaws that are working around. So ethanol auto rickshaws are something that are promoted highly under this committee. And on the case-to-case -case basis, numerous developments have, take pla uh, have taken place. Now, LIDAR is a technology which basically uses light waves from lasers. Previously, we have the radar and the sonar which uses the radio waves and the uh, sound waves. This technology basically uses the light waves from the laser and talks about the wind resources of the Kambad Gulf uh, in the Gujarat coast and we have the recently installed uh, LIDAR in this region which is talking about the potential of this area and the developments around. IRCTC has now introduced the baggages for the food which would be made from the bagasse. So bagasse and its use has come up. That's again a kind of environmental friendly use that has come. Dam safety bill, we have discussed this uh, in a separate video in detail, very very important. So proper functioning, proper surveillance is very very important. We have constitution of the national committee for dam safety that has come up. So dams are coming up in huge number and if you have so many dams coming up, then safety becomes a major concern. So those were some of the very important topics that we have covered for our first part of the environment uh, and the expected questions for environment, highly useful for your NTA and your UPSC examination will be coming up with the remaining three parts pretty soon so stay tuned have a very great day ahead